I have, well, on Zoom, you can do anything, <laughs> just about. Anybody, any other newbies here? Anybody that I didn't introduce here to the group? There we go. Aaron, the leg, oh my God, we got a superstar here. Aaron Schreier. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Claude, how are you? It's great to see everyone. Another New Yorker who talks like me, you know? <laughs> Well, I just want to say just a couple quick words, if I can. It's great to see everyone. When I was on this call last, there was probably 10 people. So now there's 42, so I'm really impressed. I've known Claude for probably 15 years. I used to work with him so closely when I was on the front lines as a sales rep. I'm in the commercial real estate business. I work for a big company called Cushman & Wakefield. Um, I'm passionate about sales, and I got into sales leadership about two years ago. Now I oversee about 65 of our brokers in the New York City market. So I love what you guys are all doing. Uh, keep up the great work. It's a grind. It's hard, but uh, stay energized, stay focused, stay engaged, and you listen to Claude. He's the best. <laughs> Thank you. What does a commercial broker really do? So a commercial broker helps companies or landlords lease office space. Um, so that's basically what they do. And, and you get paid money, a commission, based on uh, the length of term of the lease, the cost of the lease, and the size of the space that the tenant takes. What's the range of commissions that a New York man, a lower Manhattan bro a successful broker can make? What kind of commissions can they make? So yeah, our top broker made, um, he made about uh, $10 million last year. Um, and I would say our top broker this year, given the economy, will probably be in the three to four million range. But typically we have brokers that make between seven and $10 million uh, at the high end, at the low end, of course. Um, you know, living in New York is a very expensive place. So you have to make at least a little bit of like close to low six figures to survive there. But our average producer is probably about five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars the The broker who makes those high seven figure inc uh, and eight figure mm. incomes what are they doing different from the guys who are just uh struggling I'll tell you uh, and that's why I love Claude because there's a lot of guts right it, It's them also uh, being a trusted advisor. Um, they yell at their clients because they're so passionate <laughs> about what they believe in. But that's really important to them. And uh, just as like everyone else is trying to differentiate themselves in the marketplace, that's what they do too. Um, because there's a thousands of brokers out there. So how do you stand out from the competition and how do you excel? And it's really by being that trusted advisor and speaking passionately uh, about your feelings and what you think the right play is to make. Can you be assertive in New York City where sales is tough and competitive? Can you be you gotta assertive? be assertive. You gotta be assertive. Some of the best deals I ever did. Uh, I closed one transaction on one of Claude's my favorite lines from Claude. Uh, I spoke to this guy who ran a hedge fund, and it was about a three hundred fifty thousand dollar commission. I called him up, um, and he was telling me he was about to talk to his landlord without involving a broker, which is not a good thing to do. You should have a broker help you. Um, and I said to him, I said, "Do you promise not to get mad at me?" <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, Claude, that's my favorite line. I use it all the time. He goes, what are you talking about? Why would I get mad at you? I said, you're about to make a big mistake. Nine times out of 10, when tenants talk to landlords without brokers, they wind up paying way too much for their real estate. Wouldn't Dang. it be worth, wouldn't it be worth 10 minutes on a decision of this magnitude to at least hear what we have to say? What am I missing? And he said, all right, come on in. One thing led to another. We did the transaction. I personally made like 60, 70 grand from one cold call in one wow. meeting. So all because of that line, Claude. I tell <laughs> oh, everyone that story. One more story. Just a quick, so my favorite story from you is the guy who hung up. On hung me. up. I love that. I tell everyone that story. So I call this guy one day. I had, tw I, I, I overseed a, a big team a while back. I had 10 people in the room listening to me making cold calls. And I call this one guy. I said, Jim, this is Aaron Schreier. Um, I want to talk to you about your real estate. He goes, Aaron, don't ever call me again. This is despicable. And he slams the phone down on me more violently that I've ever been hung up on before. And believe me, I've been hung up on probably 150,000 times in my life. And I said to everyone in that room, I said, folks, something was not right there. Everyone could reconvene in this conference room at 6 p.m. today. We're calling him back, which I do anyways all the time. But I wanted, there was definitely something not right. So at six o'clock, everyone's back in the room. I pick up the phone. I go, he answers the phone, which is also pretty cool. I, I go, Jim, it's Aaron Schreier. He's like, Aaron, he goes, uh, what's up? I said, Jim, I just want to tell you, I felt really badly about how that call went. I, I surely didn't mean to offend you. I'm just trying to build a relationship and help you and your company save some money on your real estate. Um, and he goes, he goes, Aaron, I want to tell you, I appreciate that. And I shouldn't have talked to you the way, the way I did. I had a death in the family recently and I took it out on you and I shouldn't have done that. He goes, why don't you give me a call in two weeks and we'll get together. 
Long story short, I do his deal and we become friends. I take rides with him around Central Park sometimes. Well, not now during COVID, but before COVID. I, lo I love that. that. That is the classic chicken shit to chicken salad story. I, it's pure guts, calling somebody back who hung up on you. That is, that is chutzpah to the 10th power, man. <laughs> good stuff. Keep up the good work, everyone. Claude, Thanks you're the best. Thank you. Joining. Thank you, Aaron. Thank I'd love you. to Thank interview you, you someday. Hey, um, let's go to Henry. You've been so patient. I'm